welcome students today's topic is properties of addition of fractions and it is very small topic and very easy to learn first property is commutative property of addition of fractions it says changing the order of two addends does not change the sum how it is see here 2 by 7 plus 5 by 7 if we add 5 by 7 in 2 by 7 or either if we add 2 by 7 and 5 by 7 we will get the same answer how it is we will solve both part it is left hand side part and it is right hand side part so we will solve both the parts because denominators are same so we will uh, write the new denominator 7 only so we will write 7 and we will add the numerators it is 2 plus 5 By seven, so here also two plus five by seven. Here five plus two by seven. But when we add two plus five, we will get seven again. And here also we will get seven. Five plus two equals to seven. So our final answer will be seven by seven in both the cases. So very simple it is. Next property is grouping property of addition of fractions. It means changing the way in which we group the addends does not change the sum. How it is? Here are three fractions: one by three plus one by four plus one by five equals to one by three plus one by four plus one by five. And here are brackets. Means here are groups. Here is a group of one by three and one by four, which we need to solve first. And right hand side here is a group of one by four and one by five, which we need to solve first. But it doesn't matter whether we will solve this group first or this group first. If all the numbers, all the addends are same, then the sum will be same. How it is? Just see here. Here we will solve both the parts. One by three plus one by four. At first, add them. So how we will add them? Because denominators are different, so we will find out LCM of three and four, and the LCM will be twelve. So it will be like this: three fours are twelve. Multiply this numerator one plus four threes are twelve. Multiply this numerator one plus one by five equals to right hand side one by three plus Here, LCM of four and five is twenty. We will solve here also. Four fives are twenty. We will write five. Multiply this numerator plus five fours are twenty. Multiply this numerator one. So now we will solve this part and we will solve this part also. Four ones are four and three ones are three. So here it is seven by twelve plus one by five. And here one by three plus five ones are five plus four ones are four. It means five plus four equals to nine. Nine by twenty. Now we will solve this left hand side part and right hand side part also. Here denominator at left hand side are twelve and five. So we will find out the LCM of twelve and five. That is equals to sixty. So we will write. 60 as new denominator and here also for 3 and 20 there is also denominator uh, which are different so 3 and 20 the lcm will be 60 so we will write 60 here also and 60 here also then we will solve we will add this part also 12 fives are 60 we will write 5 here multiply 7 plus 5 12s are 60 12 multiply this numerator 1 equals to this side 60 is the lcm it means new denominator so we will divide in 60 by 3 320s are so we will write 20 here multiply 1 plus we will divide in 60 by 20 that is 3 times so we will write 3 multiply this numerator 9 now we will solve this 5 into 7 35 plus 12 ones are 12 so here it is 35 plus 12 by 60 or and here 21 are 20 plus 3 nines are 27 20 plus 27 by 60 now add this part 35 plus 12 that is equals to 47 and here also 20 plus 27 that is 47 by 60 it means in both the cases we will find the same answer that is the grouping property of addition of fractions 
in similar way just like commutative property you will get the question in a form of fill in the blanks like like here if here is a fill in the blank and in place of 1 by 5 and you have the complete equation then what will you say that because of the grouping property here 1 by 5 will come you can find out the answer immediately next property is additive property of zero and you know this property is very common whenever you add zero in any number whether that is a whole number natural number or that is a kind of fraction you will get the same number again so this is a property the sum of a fraction and zero is the fraction itself how it is just see here 3 and 1 by 5 plus 0 you will get again that fraction 3 and 1 by 5 so very simple it is if you will get the fill in the blank here where I have put this uh, highlighter so here also what you can say 0 will come because when any fraction will be added by 0 then only that fraction comes itself so these are the properties commutative grouping and additive property it is a very small topic so just learn this topic try the question in a form of fill in the blanks solve it and practice it goodbye